So today we got a fun day going on. Wow, this has been awesome. So we're up here doing a high elevation training hike, and uh, I got two rock stars. I'm telling you, these guys are amazing. Um, I've got Osita and Koda, and uh, I, I I haven't worked with dogs of this caliber uh, since the last pup stall. <laughs> I mean, these are good. Oh, these are good boys. Um, these are these are incredible little guys. No, this is full off leash remote terrain and they're just trucking right along, boy, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, I sit down, they just come right over, they don't venture off, they're so focused on the handler. And uh, what a dream to train these guys. Now I got two of my very best up here with me. This is their first big high elevation hike. We did low elevation stuff, but this is the first uh, high mountain and it's fall, everything's out. So I brought a couple of the real rock stars, the, the full tilt. Uh, I brought Dakota, their great grandfather, and his daughter, Luna. And so uh, I wasn't fooling around today with these two. So um, they, they got, uh, not only are they getting some superior modeling skills, but they got some serious protection for them. Uh, these little guys are just uh, tiny yet. So uh, um, they're fully capable big boys but at the same time uh, they're only eight weeks old nine weeks old so uh, yeah nine nine weeks old so we're not talking very old but uh, fully skilled mountain boys now she's wet up here today uh, the cloud cover the fogs the clouds are right in amongst us we're getting a break coming this way but it's been wet all the grass is wet and not not soaked but wet enough now tough hike for these boys so they wouldn't move if I stopped uh, if I tried because they're uh, this is a big job for them. Um, this high elevation and uh, the hills and the mountains uh, puts muscle and, and power into these little guys and develops some patience, of course. Now the two big uh, dogs say they're Swedish blood, so they got stamina like you wouldn't believe. Koda, Luna, come by me. And uh, these are exceptional dogs. Come, Luna. Come. How's my big girl? How's my big girl? Good. Now, the grandfather of these guys, Bram, is the grandfather of this dog. The great grandfather of these pups right over there, I'll get them over here in a minute, is the father of that dog. And the grandmother of these pups is Tora. And so uh, the father of this litter is Pretty Boy Leaf. The genetic powerhouse combination of dogs in the background of these guys is, is every best dog I have. It's, it's phenomenal. Dakota, come say hi, boy. Dakota, hey, Dakota, don't take off yet. Come and say hi, just for a second. Dakota! No, gone. When I bring these little tiny guys, he's perimeter checking boy and it's non stop and uh, he's not fooling around coming up here. He's out there. And uh, we're crossing some serious game trails and uh, so he's on full alert boy. He, he winds up boy. He, he knows. If I had big dogs, so well, he can relax a little bit. These little guys boy, he's pretty sharp. And uh, he's a machine yet. The stamina of that dog, oh my goodness. I mean, he's a uh, uh, couple, couple weeks from 12, so uh, pretty cool. And uh, he missed out on breeding uh, Tuva because uh, Tuva's a hard cat to breed, I'll tell you. So he, uh, he couldn't quite uh, come to terms with her. She just the stance, the size difference, just a few things. Just wasn't able to make it work. But I'll get him another female, no problem. He's eyeballing uh, Silver Nova there like you wouldn't believe. How's my big boy? How's my boys? How's my boys? Your boys are good. How's my boy Osa? Osira. Osa. My boy Osa. My big boy Koda. Rendeval. Yeah, these are good boys. Oh my goodness. 
Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Where's your great grandpa? Where's your great grandpa? So on the Desna program, of course, my goal is when these boys go home that they can hike off leash and remote terrain extremely well by themselves and do very well at it and uh, respond to recall and, and come when called and but for the most part hike with me without saying anything. Uh, here's the interesting thing. I haven't said their names yet on this hike and uh, we're at about 4,500 feet here. We came for hey Now I might have to say his name because he's going to jump on my camera. But uh, as far as hiking goes, I haven't said a word. Uh, these boys are just glued to me. Now, uh, the more tired they get, the closer they stay. So it's very, very cool for these young guys because as they get played out, you see, they, they stay closer. So it's kind of a little training tip, right? Play your dog out. Um, Luna, of course, is a great model because she's modeling close. She's sticking close. See, these two, they work really well together because Dakota will range a little further. Luna will stick a little bit closer. So it works out extremely well. Now, if it was the other way around, if I had an older dog here that liked to stay close, then Luna would range. Hey, Luna, come here. I'm going to tighten up your... Luna? Luna, come. Let's just tighten this up a little. We should, uh, we should just tighten that up. We'll just tighten that up, girl. I don't, uh, I can't remember who I had this on last, but it obviously was uh, somebody a little thicker out here. Might have been Tora. Might have been your sister, Tora. I can swap Tora's collar onto anybody without the adjustment and loose on everybody, even Jaeger. So yeah, pretty cool up here today. So the folks uh, getting these two guys, boy, I'll tell you, they're getting some rock stars, let me tell you. Those are really, really good dogs. Now, where's my big fella? I wish he'd come in the video for a second. Dakota, come in the video. Come on, boy. Come here. <clears throat> good girl, Luna. Good. Dakota, come, boy. Osa, come. Good boy. First time I called him today. Thought it might as well get him used to that. This is my girl Luna. What a girl. Luna's as good a dog as you can get in the Alcound world. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Where's my buddy Osa? Come on, Osa. Come on, boy. Get right here. Right here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Boy, you guys are good. Come around up front for the camera. Good. Come, Coda. Come up front, Coda. Come up front, buddy. The folks, they uh, like to see their pup out working. So it's good for me to get the camera up here. Takes a little extra work to pack it, but that's not bad. That's not bad, is it, buddies? Huh? So, yeah, we've got a fun time coming. So Luna, she's uh, going to cycle here in October. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I've been waiting a couple years for that. Dakota, you come by me now and say hello. No, no, don't take off again. Just by me for a second here. Come here. <laughs> What's up? What's up with that? Dakota, you come here. He's all right. I never have to worry about him, do I? Hey, I've been hiking with him so many miles that he does what he wants to do and I do what I do. Right? Somewhere we meet up, right? No chance of anything getting me when he's out here, is it? Big cats, the wolves don't matter. If he's on the job, I can sleep. No doubt about her. So yeah, fun time for these guys, these boys. They're uh, having a good day out here today. Now we're going to start them on the road back. And uh, they'll... Uh, I'll tell you, they're eating full feed, boy, but they're going to eat tonight, let me tell you. They yeah, won't have, uh, have any problem eating their ration and half the other guys's. Tomorrow, we'll probably get two of the other big boys up here. I'm going to separate these boys now. They're starting to scrap a fair bit. They're tough as nails, these guys. 
So uh, we'll put two and two together and uh, be a lot easier. You got four in there, they gotta sort out who's who. But two and two is fine. That's a whole different story. They can play fight and have fun. Well, Luna, good girl. Osa, good boy. What a good boy. What a fantastic boy. Koda, good boy. Now these uh, these guys will rapidly build stamina as we as we hike and rapidly uh, develop uh, the high altitude uh, bloodstream. So uh, once we've uh, came up here, they were born a lot lower than where we live, and uh, so it uh, takes them. They've only been at this altitude for a week, and uh, it takes a little bit for their uh, body to adjust. But by next week, uh, by two weeks, uh, the blood will be different, the heart will pump different, the oxygen levels will flow different, and they'll have a little more juice. It takes a little bit to get to this altitude. Now at 3,500, they're pretty fair, but you come another thousand on these little guys, takes them a little bit. My big dogs, of course, they're fully acclimatized to this all the time, so they can smoke right alone. But the little guys, they, they you get them up here and uh, they, they got to really uh, have some time to adjust to that new height. Now, if I take them further, I got to wait till they're about uh, 15, 16 weeks. And then uh, they can cruise right to 5,000 feet with no issues at all and beyond. Nora, she's down in Colorado there. She's burning up around 9,000 feet now just with no issues whatsoever. So that development stage for the high altitude really helps out a lot too. Now, Dakota, I want to end this video with at least a show of you, but I doubt her. I doubt her. He's, uh, he's over there, but he ain't coming. All right, you guys. Let's hit the road. It's a good video. Good boy, Coda. What a good boy. What a good boy.